In this video, we are going to look at various laws of surds or laws of nth roots, which will help us to simplify expressions that have nth roots. Let us look at these laws now. nth root of a is equals to a raised to 1 by n. So if you have under root of let's say 4, then it is equivalent to 4 raised to 1 by 2. And you can simplify the expressions according to the laws of indices thereafter. Let us look at the next law. If you have nth root of a times b, then you can split the root to each of these terms. So you can write nth root of a times nth root of b. Let's move ahead. If you have nth root of a divided by b, then again you can split the nth root to nth root of a divided by nth root of b. Moving on to the next law. If you have nth root of a raised to n, then it is equals to a. To prove this, we know we can write nth root of a as a raised to 1 by n. And this is completely raised to n. Now this is equal to, according to the laws of indices that we've learned, if we have a raised to m raised to n, we can write a raised to m times n. So a raised to 1 by n times n. And that n cancels out. So what remains is a. So if you have nth root of a the whole raised to n then you can directly write it as equivalent to a. Let's move ahead. If you have mth root of nth root of a then it is equivalent to m times n root of a. So let us again simplify this. We can write this as nth root of a raised to 1 by m because if we have nth root of a we can write it as a raised to 1 by n and that can be simplified as a raised to 1 by n raised to 1 by m and that is equals to a raised to 1 by m times n and that can be written as m nth root of a. So let us move ahead to the last law of search that we have. If you have nth root of a whole raised to m then you can write it as nth root of a raised to m. You can basically put this m inside the nth root. To simplify this we can write this as a raised to 1 by n raised to m and that is equal to we can exchange these parts we can write a raised to m raised to 1 by n and that can be written as nth root of a raised to m. So this is how we get to this equivalent expression. So you need to remember these laws or formulas whatever you want to call them and this will help you to solve or simplify various expressions regarding indices or nth roots.